there is another question posed on the YouTube by Adam Fikar. Brother, Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam, wa Dr. Zakir, I wanted to know is it permissible to skip the sunnah of Fajr prayer? And regarding the question, can you skip the sunnah of Fajr prayer? Yes, it is permissible, but it is makru. It is a very high level of makru. Makru means it's discouraged. If you miss, you will not get any sin because Abdullah. The two rakah sunnah before the Fajr prayer is more valuable than the earth and the wealth in it. So what reason can you give for missing your sunnah prayer? There is no reason. And if praying two rakah sunnah before the Fajr prayer is more valuable than the earth and the wealth in it, imagine what would be the value of the two faraz Fajr prayer. So, though praying the sunnah is a very important sunnah, it's one of the most important sunnah salah after the vitr, after the qiyamul layl, after the vitr, the most important sunnah prayer, it is the two rakah sunnah of the fajr prayer. <clears throat> so, there's no question of you missing it. If you pray the fajr salah and if you reach late, and if the Jamaat has started, what you can do? You can join the Jamaat, pray the Fajr Salah, and after the Fajr Salah is over, after your Dua, you can very well pray Turaqa Sunnah, though the Prophet said, after Fajr Salah, till sunrise, there is no Salah. That means generally offering Nafil Salah, it's not permitted. But if there is a reason, if you have missed your Sunnah Salah of Fajr, then very well, you are permitted. Sunnah Salah because you wanted to join the Jama and you pray the Sunnah after the Jama. There is a hadith in which one of the Sahaba he prays the Fajr Salah in Jama and after the Fajr is over he prays to Raka Sunnah. So the Prophet said there is no Sunnah after the Fajr Salah. What were you praying? He said that I missed the Turaqa Sunnah. So there is no reason why you should miss your Sunnah when you are praying the Fajr, why are you missing your Sunnah? If you are late, no problem. After finishing your Fajr Salah, two Raka Sunnah takes how many minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes is sufficient. And for the Sunnah of the Fajr Salah, the Prophet recommended that you read Surah Kafirun in the first Raka and Surah Ikhlas in the second Raka. That means the time required to read Surah, Kafir, Surah Kafirun and Surah Ikhlas is very less. So if you read at a moderate space, it will take two minutes, moderate speed. If you read at a slow speed, it will not take you more than three minutes. And imagine for this three minutes, Allah is saying you will the reward for it is more higher than the world and the wealth in it. You know, there was a list of the top ten richest men in the world, and the list went on saying Bill Gates is the fourth richest person, then Jeff Bezos is the third richest person, Elon Musk is the second richest person in the world and the first richest is a Muslim who offers two raqa sunnah before the Fajr Salah. That means in the two raqa you can be richer than Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk put together. So what is the reason? Why should you miss it? Yes. If you want to catch the Jama, and if you miss it, no problem, you can pray it after that. So there's no reason you're praying your Fajr Salah and missing. But is it permissible? Is it haram to miss? No, it's not haram. But a good Muslim or even a person who's not very practicing, but who's offering the Fajr Salah, there's no reason why he should miss such an easy sawab. If he's getting such an easy sawab, it's no sin if he misses. But he is losing the sawab. So it is foolish for a person to miss it. There will not be any sin, but the benefit that this person gets by reading two raka sunnah before the fajr salah is so important, it's so massive, it will be foolish for anyone to miss it. Like the Prophet said, if you fast on the day of Arafah, that is the ninth Dulajjah, 
it will expiate your sins the previous year and the coming year. If you fast during the Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, it will expiate the sins of your previous year. Of course, it's talking about the minor sin. So imagine if someone asks me, is it fault to fast in Ashura, on the day of Ashura, or on the day of Arafah, it's not a fard. But imagine fasting for one day, fasting for two days, three years sin are washed away. Three years sin. Not one year, not two years, three years. How three years? When you fast on the day of Arafah, the Prophet says that he prayed that may your sins of the previous year and the next year be washed away. Exactly one month afterwards, one month and one day, that is 30 or 31 days, after, after Yom Arafah comes Ashura. Because after Dhulajjah is the month of Muharram, but the year changes. Here the Prophet said, if you fast during the month of, if you fast during the day of Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, your previous year's sin is washed away. For an easy explanation, suppose you are fasting, the the Arafah comes in 1444 Hijri. So, you are, if you fast during that one day, it's a voluntary fast. If you fast during the one day, your previous years and your next year's sins are washed away. That means on Yom Arafah on 1444 Hijri, then 1443 and 1445, 1445 would be washed away, inshallah. Then after one month, one day, is the Ashura, the tenth of Muharram. Here the Prophet said, your previous year's sin will be washed away. So Ashura will come on 1445, so your sins of 1444 will be washed away. So if you fast on these two days, 1444, 1445, and 1446, sorry, 1414, 1440, 1443, if you fast in Arafah, 1443, it will be washed away. If you fast after one month, one day, on Yomul, Yomul Ashura, 10th of Muharram, in the year 1445, your previous year's sin, 1444 will be washed away. So three years sin the washed away, 1443, three years sin the washed away. If you ask me, will you get a sin if you miss the fast? Of course, no sin. It is sunnah. But it is the highest, it is the most important sunnah fast. These two fast after the fast of Ramadan. You will be foolish. Imagine if you fast two days, these two days. You are three years in the washed away. Who would miss this opportunity? It's not a sin. But only a foolish person will miss fasting these two days. So similarly, praying the two rakah sunnah before the fajr is not a fard. It's a sunnah. It's the second most sunnah salah after the Qiyamul Layl, after Witr Salah, is the two rakah sunnah of the Fajr Salah. Hope that answers the question.